Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to create some tall grassy areas and some sea oats, or yeah, sea oats today. I'm going to use my liner brush and I've uh, dipped it into a little linseed oil and I've wiggled it into uh, some uh, sap green just to give you an idea of how these are done. You can change the colors accordingly, but uh, go with a darker value first. You can add blue to the green or black to the green. And I'm just using the tip of my brush and I'm just stroking from the sea grass that I've already placed in here and pulling outward. I need to get a little bit more paint so you can see this on my brush. I can go up, I can go to the right, I can come down from the uh, seagrass area and make it look like it's angling downward, making these a little bit stronger in color so you can hopefully see what I'm doing. As long as these are in clusters, um, very close together, that's what you see in nature instead of here and one line there. The spaces in between, that's what you do, don't want to do. Sometimes I curve them look like they're hanging over. I'm going to show you uh, also uh, the sea oats. They usually are in a color, a straw color. Usually the way you see it. I'm going to make it a little bit darker so you can view this by way of this video. But I'm just touching in the seagrass again and lifting upward doing the same technique that I did with the uh, tall grassy areas, only I'm using yellow ochre, different color. And I'll just put in a few so that you can see these are very thick because I'm angling at the handle. The best way to do this is to hold the handle straight out um, I'm trying not to block you with my hand. Okay, now I'm going to clean my brush a little bit here, but I'm going to switch to using my fan brush so that you can see how we do the finish off the seal. I'm using a little bit of yellow ochre and white so that you can see it. If you line up to the edge of where you drew your line of the, the stem and just touch and pull, it's like brushing your hair. It's going to spread out the paint and make it look like what the sea uh, oats look like. Now I'm accentuating these colors you would want to go closer to your stem color. And notice how they're pointy in some areas, they're pointy at the tip, they're always uneven. And of course this probably would look better if this was dry here, but I'm going to put that in anyway. Looks like a wet part of the wave. Okay, let's do this one. See how they're all different in length, width height. And let's put in another, maybe there's a little baby one that lives here. And that's how you create some sea oats and tall grassy areas.